It was like what was cool if you weren't cool. What's up everyone? Welcome to Dose. We're here in Brooklyn, New York at the House of Vans for a very special screening of No Room for Rockstars, Vans new documentary about the Warp Tour. I'm here with Doug Palladini, who's the executive producer of the film. Tell me a little bit about what it took to put this film together, sort of from the start. The Vans Warp Tour is an incredible story to tell and we've been wanting to bring it to the film for a long time now. Finally able to find a window where I could get the people that we work with on Dogtown, which is Stacey Peralta and Aggie Orsi, to help me put the story together. So who are the bands that are uh, followed in, in the film? My favorite story in the movie is a band called Forever Came Calling who didn't get on the tour. They actually got in their van and just spent their time in the parking lot trying to sell CDs and get people to listen to their music, hoping to build enough momentum to find a way into one of the small stages. Right now, I don't know how to build, you know what I mean? If we can't make money on a record, then we don't need to be a band, you know what I mean? Like, I don't need to be walking millions of miles. Like, I feel like I'm about to have a fucking nervous breakdown. We've been having them play live after a lot of the screenings. People are so engaged in this film, and then they get to see them play live. I think they'll build a pretty fan base, and they're pretty talented musicians. So. Awesome, and what can we expect uh, from tonight? This is a special event. One of the best things for me about putting the movie together is getting to see audiences watch it. It's not a concert movie. It's really a story about the state of the music industry and what it's like to find your way. People are leading the screening to standing ovations. Awesome. Doug, thanks so much for joining us on Dose. Really appreciate it. Yeah, thanks for being here. Take care. All right, we're here with Joe Candelaria, lead singer and guitar player from Forever Came Calling. So listen, tell me, man, how did you end up in this movie? We were selling CDs to the line in San Francisco, and the dude who shot the whole movie said, let me take your email down, took my email down, and I thought we were going to have like a 10-second clip in the movie. And then he emailed and asked if it was cool if he followed us for the rest of the tour. And I was like, that's awesome. Tell me how you went from sort of being a band playing in someone's garage to being on the Warped Tour. Well, I mean, like growing up, it's just like, we're from a small town in California, and there's not a music scene there at all. So Warp Tour it was music. It was meeting like some of your favorite bands. It was like what was cool if you weren't cool. And just being a part of this whole thing that's going on is, I'm still kind of starstruck right now. Well, wish you the best of luck. Thanks a lot for dropping in on Dose. Thanks a lot. There you have it from the No Room for Rockstars special screening at the House of Vans in Brooklyn. Thanks to Joe. Thanks to Doug. Thanks to everyone at Vans. In the comments below, let us know who your favorite Vans Warp Tour band of all time is. In the meantime, don't forget to follow us on Twitter, like us on Facebook, and subscribe, subscribe, subscribe. I'm Tim Brodhagen for Dose, and I'm out.